Praise the Lord, everybody. Pastor Nick here with another devotion from the book of Psalm. So glad that you can join me this morning and every morning at 7 a.m. As we continue the journey through the book of Psalm, uh, we thank you all for uh, tuning in. Um, thank you for your consistency, for your comments, your shares, your subscriptions, all that good stuff. Thank you for it. And I hope that you, if you haven't done so, that you would like, share, and subscribe. Um, share the journey experience with somebody. As we continue to talk about the book of Psalm, I hope that they're a blessing to you. Um, and I hope they're helping you in your everyday life as we go through this book that really highlights um, the, the plethora of things that we go through as human beings. Of course, follow me on my platforms if you can. The information's on the screen, follow the church, follow Bishop, of course. And let's get started on Psalm 61. Um, this particular Psalm uh, talks about protection. And uh, you hear a lot of protection Psalms, which we need a lot of God's divine protection. And he says, hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer from the end of the earth. I call to you when my heart is faint, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. You have to know calling on God that he hears you and he listens to you. And no matter where you are in life, when your heart is faint, talk to him. Matter of fact, before your heart even gets there, have a conversation with him. Ask him to lead you to the rock that is higher than I. Take me up, elevate me out of from where I am. Lead me to this rock, the secure foundation who is Jesus. He is the rock that is higher than I. There's safety, there's protection in the rock who is Jesus. He says, for you are my refuge, a strong tower against, my, against the enemy. You're my safe place. You're my comfort and you're my defense when the enemy shows up. Let me abide in your tent forever. Let me be in your tabernacle, in your temple, in your presence forever. Find refuge after, under the shelter of your wings, Selah. Help me find the right safety from the storm under your wings. Let me find protection in you, O God. He says, for you, O God, have heard my vows and you've given me the heritage of those who fear your name. If you're going to make a vow, keep your vow because God hears them. He'll give you the heritage of those that fear your name. Prolong the life of the king. He's now asking for long life. Preserve my life. Protect my life. Prolong my life. May his years endure to all generations. Not even just talking about David's life, but his, his, his reign, his lineage will continue to reign. And it's all in Jesus. Maybe the, may he be enthroned forever before God. Now, David's not going to live forever, but Jesus, the son of David, is going to live forever before God. He is seated at the right hand of God. He says, appoint steadfast love and faithfulness to watch over him. Now, he's talking about himself, the king, too. Surround me. Help me. Appoint your steadfast love and your faithfulness. God's faithfulness is he's faithful to watch over you. He's always paying attention, y'all. He's always paying attention. When you think he forgot about you, he's always paying attention. If not, you wouldn't find him to be a fortress, a strong tower, or a rock that's higher than you. He says, so I will always sing praises to your name as I pay my vows day after day. Today, I want you to make the promise to sing your praises to God. Pay your vows. Make the commitment to worship him. Make the commitment to rejoice. Make the commitment to serve him. Because why? If he's going to be your refuge, he's going to be your fortress and all these other things. He's deserving of all of our worship. He's deserving of everything that he that we give to him. Make a vow today that you will live a life that strives to please him, strives to worship him strives to give him praise because why when your heart is faint there's a rock that can help nourish you protect you when the enemies come upon you he's a strong tower and he's a refuge when you abide in his tent forever he'll cover you from the he'll cover you and be sheltered from the rain he will give you the heritage of those that fear his name and god will preserve your life 
Commit your ways to the Lord and watch what he does for you. His faithfulness and his love keep him watching over you. And because of that, sing to the Lord. Pay your vows day after day. Consistently serve him. Come on, let's pray. Father, I thank you again for this moment. We appreciate you for this time. Thank you for allowing us to go through this short psalm, but powerful at the same time. We appreciate you for being that place that we can run to in times of trouble. You are a safe place. You are our help. You are refuge. Lord, you are our fortress. Thank you for being our strong tower that the righteous run into and find safety. I appreciate you for covering us over the, under the shadow of your wings. That while it's storming outside, we're not experiencing the fullness of it because you are protecting us. And Father, I thank you for that. I praise you today for how you've protected each and every one of us to experience this day. I pray that you would cover us, bless us, bless our work days, um, our school days, our church days, whatever. I pray that you would cover us, keep us in your mercy, keep us in your plan and have mercy on us, O God. I pray a special prayer for those who are struggling on the job right now. Those individuals that are having hard times, either working from home or working in the office. I pray in Jesus' name that you would put a song on their hearts to encourage them. Let them know that their work is their worship. That as they're working, they're working as unto you and not working as unto man. Because if we work for you, it's easier to do the work. If we work with a heart of worship and a heart of appreciation, it's much easier to do. I pray in Jesus' name that you will strengthen them, give them opportunities, open doors, give them peace of mind in the fire of the workplace. Let them be like the three Hebrew boys walking around in the fire, but not touched by the fire. Meet us in it. Walk with us in it and bring us out in Jesus name. Amen. So glad you can join me today again, and we'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.